There is far more going on behind the scenes than most people ever imagined. In secret facilities all over the world, scientists are pushing the envelope far beyond what most of us thought was possible. They are developing technologies that are decades ahead of what the general public has access to right now, and in many cases, little regard is being given to any moral or ethical lines that are being crossed. Unfortunately, many of these new technologies are being designed to be used on us. The big brother control grid that we see all around us is going to continue to evolve, and each new improvement will give the elite even more control. Ultimately, the goal is to get everyone to be completely and utterly dependent on the system that they have created, and anyone that chooses not to be a good servant of that system will be dealt with ruthlessly. Perhaps you think that you will be able to fight back against the system when it gets to that point. But what are you going to do when they send shape-shifting robots made out of liquid metal against you? Scientists have made a major breakthrough in robotics by creating a liquid metal robot similar to the one seen in the Terminator movies. This human-shaped droid can flow through the bars of a cage and then rebuild itself, reminiscent of the rogue cop cyborg in Terminator 2. The technological advancements in this field have allowed for the creation of a new type of robot that has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about robotics and automation. The liquid metal robot showcases the innovative and futuristic technology that continues to be developed in the field of robotics. I was quite surprised to learn that this technology had been made public. It turns out that these highly advanced robots are also magnetic and can conduct electricity. As well as shapeshifting, the engineers say their robots are magnetic and can conduct electricity. Dr. Pan's team made the new material, a magnetoactive solid liquid phase transitional machine, by embedding magnetic particles in gallium, a metal with a very low melting point of 29.8 Celsius. Hearing that should chill you to the core. In addition to possessing extremely alarming physical characteristics, robots are also becoming extremely intelligent. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The field of artificial intelligence is progressing at an exponential rate, and entire armies of super-intelligent attack robots are being created that can perform synchronized tasks with a precision that is absolutely breathtaking perfectly since day I dogs. We've seen these introduced to many industries over the past few years, including farming, private security firms, and even national police forces. In the not-too-distant future, the elite will have access to ultra-efficient robots that are much stronger than you, much faster than you, and much smarter than you. So, what use will you be at that point? Human employees are becoming a thing of the past. Robot employees are the future. To me, what is even more frightening are all of the new surveillance technologies that are now being used against us all over the world. Sadly, most people don't even realize that they are constantly being watched and monitored. In fact, the device that you are watching this video on right now can be used as a surveillance tool by the authorities at any moment. Of course, this is just a very small tip of a very large iceberg. The truth is that, we are all being watched and monitored in countless ways, but most of us never even realize it. With the immense technology at their disposal, the elite could actually do a lot of good if they wanted to. For example, they could easily shut down all of the trafficking that goes on in the streets of our major cities. The following is what one enterprising journalist discovered when she recently visited the streets of South Los Angeles. We toured several lines of vehicles stretching around a series of blocks, each manned by a prospective client waiting for his chance with one of the girls. At least 35 females worked the lines, mostly white or Latina. But it was early, by the end of the evening, their numbers would double, Powell assured me. But by then, it wouldn't be safe for us to be there. Gun violence follows the pimps like a stench. Several of the women looked very young, under 18. And while the popular imagination often portrays toots as foreign-born, that's a myth, says Vanessa Russell, who runs an anti-trafficking organization outside of Oakland. 
She points to evidence that 83% of all cases victims of trafficking were born in the US. Of course this isn't just happening in the worst areas of our largest urban areas. It is with a heavy heart that I must bring to your attention the unfortunate reality of Every two minutes, a child falls victim to this exploitation, with some being as young as nine years old. This is a devastating problem, and it is estimated that adults are making purchases for <laughs> at least 2.5 million times each year in the United States alone. In Georgia, the demand for these services is unfortunately high, with an estimated 7,200 men seeking to engage in <laughs> acts with adolescent girls every month. This equates to roughly 300 minors being exploited every day. The impact of this on these <laughs> is profound, with an estimated 6,000 individuals potentially committing acts of <laughs> violence against a single <laughs> over the course of five years. The problem of <laughs> trafficking is widespread, and it is estimated that anywhere between 100,000 to 500,000 minors in the United States are subjected to this exploitation every year. These come from a variety of circumstances, including being forcibly abducted, running away from home, or even being sold into the system by their own family members or acquaintances. It is important to acknowledge that has become a major business in the United States, and it is crucial that we work together to combat this issue and ensure the safety and well-being of minors. Only by joining forces can we hope to bring an end to this devastating practice and give these children a chance at a brighter future. And, instead of spying on the social media posts of concerned citizens such as you and I, why don't the elite use their highly advanced technologies to stop this horrific abuse? Sadly, the truth is that they don't want to stop it. The level of evil in our society is so bad that I don't even have the words to adequately describe it, and if we keep going down this road, there will be no future for America. The world that we live in today is a world that has been designed for us by our leaders. They give us enough entertainment to pacify us, and most of us believe them when they tell us that everything is okay. But behind the scenes there is unparalleled wickedness, and it is getting worse with each passing year. I feel like I'm losing my mind. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.